Youth runner here with South Pasadena standout, Cy Byrne, uh, 1835. But the most important detail is that uh, this group, at least in the overall Division 3, 4, 5 girls team sweepstakes race, edges the reigning Division 3 state champions, Cathedral Catholic. Now, why is that significant? South Pasadena is no longer in Division 4, ladies and gentlemen. They're now in Division 3, so obviously when we get them paired up against Cathedral Catholic, what a wonderful indication of what we could all be treated to on November 30th. Sive, so obviously, as Coach and I were just talking about, when we only pair out the Division 3 teams, then it gets even closer than that, and it's a sixth runner tiebreaker, but obviously so much for you and the group to celebrate, not just Abigail's brilliant performance, but you and the rest of the team as well. How, how meaningful is this now that you're experiencing life in Division 3? Yeah, this is great. I mean, this course is really like a great course to kind of have us run in the Invitational so that we can prep for state and ultimately championship season before state. Um, I really enjoyed it. I thought that it was a great race and then the finishing on the track was really fun. I got to do a strong kick at the end and that was great too. In, uh, in terms of when I spoke with Abigail after the race, she said, take out, poop out, and to her, it felt like a two mile race. You know, yeah. she, Cause then obviously it showed by how much she had left at the end. I will allow you to articulate and elocute. How did it feel for Sive Burn with no poop out today? Yeah, so the first two valley loops went pretty fast and I kind of was in a pack, but I decided, okay, I'm gonna separate a little bit just so that I can take out these hills. Um, so I kind of separated a little bit from the pack and then went up um, switchbacks, went down the back and went hard on the downhill, tried to catch some people. And not having poop out was great. I think some people didn't realize that there is a tiny little incline still there. So I drew, drove up that incline regardless that poop out wasn't there. And, you're, and just so people know, you're speaking of the how you basically had to, yeah. you know, like cut almost cut through what we would think the cut mountain would the be. Valley. Yeah, and yeah. Then, and then to be able to go on the backside of reservoir. Yeah, so I cut through there and kind of pumped it a bit just because it's still a little incline, and took that back stretch as fast as I could, and then working up the reservoir hill, we do hill repeats. So in my head, I was just like, okay, this is nothing like Via del Rey, and I was just like, let's keep going. Um, Definitely getting over that first one is hard, but then the second one is where you gotta push even more. Um, then down the back, I just was letting gravity take me and pushing it all the way. Um, definitely coming through here was a little change because normally it's the very end and you still have about 400 meters to go. But seeing the people ahead of you is really awesome because you can be like, okay, set a goal, get the people, let's go. And so I saw a girl, she was about, maybe 45, 50 meters in front of me. And and I just was like, okay, I'm gonna try as best as I can to get her. At the 200, I was about 25 yards, meters away from her. And then I was just like, bring it in, bring it in. And so that's how the race went for me. I think it went, oh, like, as terms of PR, I came one second off my PR, but I think mentally it went by faster than last year. Just how significant is, is this for you in the group, like building into November? This is really great because I think it gives us a lot of momentum going into November um, and confidence. I think we really can get our goals and reach our goals and it's going to be a great competition season. Awesome. Sive, congratulations to you and the group. You. Well done. Thank you.